Johnny Travers. Yeah, he must have been awful desperate to take a chance like that. He couldn't afford to get caught with that 20,000 on him. No, he'll wash up on the shore down below someplace. Better take two men and go down the gorge and watch for him. All right. We may have to drag the river. I don't care what you say. It's ridiculous. Sugar, one cent a pound. Bacon, ten cents a pound. Got a match? Yeah, uh, we'll see. Where is it? Thanks. So, flour, 50 cents a hundred, and potatoes, 20 cents a bushel. I'm sorry, Mr. Carson, but you don't I understand. I eggs, 10 cents a dozen. I'm gonna write my congressman about Mr. this. Mr. Carlson, if you'll only listen, I can... Getting so it costs a man $50 a year to live. If you don't quit getting yourself all riled up, you won't have long to live. Yeah. And if I... It makes my low blood... Hi, <laughs> Sit. You hear about Johnny? No, what about him? Yes. Come here. The bank was robbed last night. They accused him of doing it. The sheriff and the posse are out looking from right now. Oh, you're joking. I ain't joking, Hoppy. The watchman was killed. What? That boy wouldn't kill anybody. And why should they accuse him? Well, the explosion woke most everybody in town, and Johnny was seen running away from the bank. And besides, they, they found his knife near the safe. You know, the one I give him with his initials. Yeah. Well, that don't prove anything. No, but, uh... Hoppy, you don't think that Oh, Johnny... no, certainly not. Running away like that does make it look bad. Yeah. And the claim there's only over $20,000 in the bank. Twenty? Well, there hasn't been more than $5,000 in that bank at one time since Rogers opened it. Oh, yes, there was, Hoppy. The monthly payroll of the Blanchard mine was there. And Johnny was in the bank the day he came in. Well, what if he was? Maybe he had business in there. Yeah, but, uh, well, what are we going to do, Hoppy? You better get this stuff back out to Tom Clark's ranch or he'll fire you. Yeah, but can I stay here and help you? No, oh, now, don't worry about it. I've got a few things to do. I'll see you later. Yeah, all right, Tom. Here's the letter we've been waiting for. Heard from Washington, eh? Our man there says the irrigation bill is all set to go through. I see he asked if we got the Clark Ranch. That property is the key to the watershed. The most important part of the deal. That's why we've got to get it. I suppose a banker just has to worry about something. You haven't delivered that land yet. Holding up the whole project. Well, he can stop your worrying. What would you think if I told you I was going to marry the Clark Ranch? No. They're announcing my engagement to Laura Clark tonight. That's the best news yet. There's always a way to make a deal. Remember that Norris Ranch? I told you I'd get it for a song, and I did. That reminds me. You haven't paid your share of that deal yet. Just like a banker. You're always talking money. Well, the robbery left me a little short of cash. And I need money for the Blanchard payroll. You'll have to wait. I'll bring you some cash in the morning. But please don't fail me. See you later. Sheriff. I hate to tell you, Hoppy, but he must have drowned. Drowned? Yeah. We trapped him at Black Canyon. He jumped off the cliff. He never came to the surface after he hit the water. Oh, that's awful. Well, that'll save the county the price of a trial and a new rope. What? I won't forget that, Cassidy. I don't want you to forget it.
Good evening. Hello, Tom. Hello, Sheriff. Congratulations, Jeff. Thank you. You know, you're a mighty lucky fellow. I wouldn't mind putting the handcuffs to Laura myself. <laughs> yes, and I might have been a very willing prisoner myself. <laughs> Maybe it's lucky for me you are a little slow with the handcuffs, Sheriff. Maybe. It's well funny, Miss Laura. Don't forget to take me a dance. I won't. Come on, Jeff. Let's dance. Not now. Your phone wants to see me. You'll have to teach him better manners, Laura. Well, Dad, he has a lot of things on his mind. Haskell. Must be a pretty happy evening for you. Why not? I'm marrying the prettiest girl in the county, and her father's giving us the ranch for a wedding present. And then I'm your woman. Right hand partner, swing it back! Why, Mr. Carlson, you look so lonely. Would you like to dance with me? Gosh, Mrs. Anson, I sure would, but us bar 20 boys, we ain't the kind to <laughs> kind of frolic. Oh, come on. Come on. No, uh, I sprained my ankle. You get all about that when you dance with me. Mrs. Anson, for all I know, my leg might be broken in two places. Oh, Mr. Carlson, if you were horse, they'd take you out and shoot you, wouldn't they? <laughs> hey, that's a good one. <laughs> Good evening, Miss Laura. Good evening. Good evening, Mr. Clark. Hello, Hoppy. I'm glad to see you. Thank you. By the way, have you uh, seen California? Uh, why, yes, I saw him. Well, there he is, right over there. He looks like he might be having a little trouble. Mrs. Anson's a very determined woman. She seems to be. No, no, uh, oh, no, 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 Miss Anson. Uh, uh, no, please, uh, it might hurt my feet to dance. After this dance, I'll pick you up and I'll give you a nice hot mustard foot bath. Gosh. In the bunkhouse. In the bunk? Uh, no, 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 no. I, I, I'm illogical to mustard, Miss Anson. Oh, is that all you're logical to, Mr. Carlson? Well, uh, why, sure. Uh, no, I'm a Come on. Uh, come on. Uh, uh, here, Miss Anson, hold my horse. I've got to see how. What's the matter, Hoppy? It's gonna be a little tough to tell you, California. Bad news? Johnny is... Uh, he... Uh, you don't mean that Johnny... Jumped into the river from the top of Black Canyon. Sure took a lot of nerve to do it, huh? Sure did. He always had plenty of that. I tell you he'd make it. But I'm not safe, Hoppy. They're gonna have to hide me. We'll hide you, but what happened? Well, I was going up the street when I heard an explosion. And a couple of men came running out of the bank and more followed. Then one of them pointed at me and said, there he is, there's the man that did it. Well, I guess I lost my head when they started shooting and I jumped on my horse and rode out of town. I couldn't have come back, Hoppy. They'd have lynched me. Yeah, but they found your knife in the bank. Oh, I don't know how it got there. I lost it last time I was in town. Well, Hop, you don't think oh, that I... No, of course not. No, oh, me neither. But I guess we'll better hide him until we find out who robbed the bank. Yeah. Take him out to the East Line Shack. You better get started tonight. You wait down in the bunkhouse. I'll tell Mr. Clark I'm leaving. Okay. I'll try and get a dance with Miss Laura. That'll give you a chance to talk to Clark. Right now. Naughty boy. Uh, boy. Come on, we're going to dance. We are? Oh. Excuse me, may I have this dance? Certainly. Certainly. Trip <laughs> and suck. Just like this. Looks like he's doing all right. It doesn't die, Walton. Good, yeah. 
She's mighty pretty. If she's my girl, I'd want to be dancing with her myself. Cassidy was invited to this party. Well, what do you mean? Cassidy's one of our oldest friends. He's no friend of mine. <laughs> Say you're not getting jealous, are you, Jeff? Come on, have a little punch. No, thanks. <laughs> oh, that was fine. Thank you very much. Can I get you a drink or some ice cream? Well, I'd much rather dance than eat. I'm afraid we're out of luck. Looks like the band would rather eat than play. <laughs> I didn't think you'd come to a party where you weren't invited, Cassidy. I've never needed an invitation to this ranch before. Well, invitation or not, I don't want you dancing with my fiance. What, Jeff? Come on. Well, I'm, I'm awfully sorry, oh, Mr. Right. Come on. I'll be waiting. Can we have a dance, California? Uh, no, no. I I'm very busy. I'm dancing with Mrs. Anson. Mrs. Anson? When are we going to have a dance? That's what I want to know. Well, I I'm both solid, ladies. I'm sorry. Oh, no. I Come on. Will you please? I'm sorry. I can't dance. Oh, please dance. Come on. Will you get oh, away please from Please dance. Please, really? ladies. find you out here, Johnny. Gosh, this is the quietest place I ever saw. I ain't gonna like it around here. You've got a nerve to be complaining. After me and Hoppy's gone to all this trouble to hide you out, if you ain't the most ungrateful pup, that's the trouble with Whoa. you young whippersnapper. Oh, I take it all back. There'll be plenty of noise with you around. Boy, 
is it stuffy in here? There you go, complaining again. What do you expect? Hotel Sweetie? Er, uh, Sweetie? Sweet. Well, whatever they call it. Boy, am I hungry. I need a half-baked wolf right now. You can make me so doggone. See, I'm kind of hungry myself. Get the stove going, I'll cook up some grub, huh? Yeah. What can you cook? See, I can cook anything. Anything you want to... Beans. Oh, any jughead can open a can. How about something classy, uh... How about a few hors d'oeuvres? Uh, a few ever... Uh, oh, sure. Why, sure, them things, sure. Well, it'll take me quite a while to boil them. Oh, well, huh? Yeah. Well, how about some biscuits? That ought not take so long. Oh, biscuits? Say, I won a prize at the county fair from once. You did? Yes, sir. They was light and fluffy as a feather. The judges had trouble holding them down the table. Really? Sure. Give me some water. Boy, I can hardly wait. <laughs> biscuits. I wonder how you cook them things. Gun it, why can't I learn to keep my big mouth shut? I'm always... There it is. One teaspoonful of butter. One teaspoon of salt. Three spoonfuls of bacon powder. Two pints of flour. East line out. Who was it, California? Yeah, on a new man. Was he riding a white horse? No, there wasn't any white horse. Well, just a new cow hand, I reckon. I want you to go back and see that nobody comes near Lost Canyon. We're gonna start Clark's cattle through that draw near the east line. All right. Thank you. 
Johnny, I don't think you ought to eat them biscuits. You know, uh, them French dishes, they're no good. They're, they're too starchy. Since when? Well, since I, uh, they'll make you fat. Uh, uh, I'll make you some scrambled eggs. Uh, they'll be ready in a jiffy. My mouth's been watering for biscuits, and that's what I'll have. Uh, uh, I, 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 I... Light and fluffy as a feather, eh? Like feathers from Plymouth Rock. That's the trouble with you young squirts. You get it too easy nowadays. You're soft. You can't eat real man's grub. If you was half a man, you'd eat them biscuits. Oh, no, not me. Let's see you eat one. Go on. I'll eat it. Good morning. Thought you went home last night. No, your party was so nice and it got a little late, so I decided to spend the night in the bunkhouse with the boys. Well, I hope you'll forgive Jeff for the way he acted. Oh, don't worry about that. I'd forgotten all about it. Thanks. Going to town? Yes. Would you like company? I certainly would. <laughs> Very easily, does he? No, he's pretty sturdy. He looks like he comes from pretty good stock. I don't know much about his past. Would you like to ride him sometime? Oh, I didn't mean that. <laughs> Say, maybe I'll take you up on that sometime. Hope you do. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Good morning, Jeff. How do you feel since last Listen night? Listen to me. No girl I'm going to marry can be seen with Cassidy. Oh, I just rode into town with him. I said I didn't want you seen with him. Well, Jeff, what's the word you hear? It's embarrassing. I don't care if it is. But I'm telling you there's absolutely You're nothing. not telling me anything. I said I didn't want you seen with him, and that's just what I mean. Jeff, I'm beginning to realize our engagement's a mistake. Laura. Like marrying into the Clark Ranch isn't going to be as easy as you thought. <laughs> oh, it's just a little spat. She'll get over it. Well, that young lady seems to have a mind of her own. If you mean she's going to be hard to handle, I'll take care of that. Well, just remember that it's up to you to deliver that Clark Ranch. That's exactly what I propose to do. Don't you hold a note of Clark's? That'll be due in a few days. Yes, but that has nothing to do with the ranch. Merely a loan on some cattle. I don't want it renewed. Clark has been doing business with me for a long time. I can't very well turn him down. Besides, I don't see how it could help us. You want his ranch, don't you? Clark's counting on an extension of that note. You've got to turn him down. We have a lot of money invested in this project. Oh, by the way, here's my share of the Norris deal. But I'm not sending good money after bad. I'll tell Clark I won't renew the note. I should make you give me a receipt. I should make you show me a marriage certificate. Now, Harry. Hello, Mr. Cassidy. Hi, Mr. Rogers. 
Uh, I'd like to ask you a couple of questions about that holdup you had, if you don't mind. Well, certainly. Come in. Did anybody outside the bank know that that Blanchard payroll was in the safe? No, I don't think so. You see, it was only recently that the Blanchard mine was thoroughly financed and operating on a big scale. In fact, this is only the second payroll we handled. Mm. Is anybody here in town connected with that mine in any way? No. Oh, I think Burton has a little stock that he earned as a fee for acting as Blanchard's attorney. I see. Tell me, have you had any large deposits here lately? That is, I mean, you don't usually carry a great amount of cash here, do you? No. Why do you ask? Oh, I'm just curious. Thanks. Any news? We just came from Black Canyon. Dragged the river clean down the dam. Couldn't find a trace of it. Poor kid. You know, I still can't believe he robbed that bank. Sheriff, you sure you were after the right man? I know how you feel, Cassidy. But Haskell saw him coming out of the bank right after the explosion. Haskell? Clark's foreman? Yes. Thanks. See you later. So long, Abby. So Mr. Burton tells me. What made you ask that? Well, I understand that Burton and Rogers have been buying up these ranches around you, and I wonder if they've made you an offer for yours. Burton and Rogers? What would Burton want with the ranch? I didn't think he was rich enough to be investing in ranches. I didn't think so either. Do you know of any reason why he'd want this particular ranch? No, the ranch has always made money. It never occurred to me there might be any other reason. Of course, the price of beef now is so low that it doesn't pay to sell. No. Here's your coffee. Oh, thank you, dear. Thank you. Who are you working for now, Mr. Cassidy? Uh, no one right now. Hello, oh, Dad. Hmm? Oh, Sally Jane. Oh. Well, I need a good man. I've lost my foreman. You mean Haskell? Yes. What happened to him? I don't know. That's what troubles me. He left here this morning without saying anything. Hmm. Oh, thank you, dear. I could use his job. All right, it's yours. Cream and sugar? No, thanks. There's only one thing about it. I, uh, I won't be able to show up here until that Tuesday. Well, I think we can get along without him for a couple of days if we have to. Don't you think so, Dad? Well, I guess we can, <laughs> yes. Sit down, Hoppy. <laughs> thanks. Yippee-yay, yippee-yay, and that song ain't so very
California. What'd he get you? <laughs> Don't do that. Uh, I ain't shot. When I felt the breeze from that bullet, I pulled that old trick of yours and fell off on my horse. You old faker, you. <laughs> <laughs> what do you suppose he's shooting at you for? I don't know. What you doing up here? I was just on my way over to see you and Johnny at the shack. Well, let's go. Where is Matthias? He's up here. Hi, Jailbird. Poppy. <laughs> How are you, kid? Oh, I'm swell. Uh, the meal's done. Now it's what it's over done. Well, I suppose you could do better, you and your prize-winning biscuits. Now leave my yeah, biscuits out of there. If you two don't quit arguing, I'll fire you. You'll fire us? Sure. You're looking at your new boss. Huh? I took Haskell's place. What happened to Haskell? You quit. Huh? Good riddance if you ask me. Uh, I take it you don't care much for him. No, and nobody else does around here except that lawyer, Burton. Burton. Sure, he could Haskell out of a killing charge. Something to do with cattle rustling up at Los Altars. Is that so? Yep. Maybe it's a case of birds of a feather. Could be. Let's see. Eat. Eat. <coughs> need you sooner than I expected. Something happened? Roger just refused to renew my loan on the pedigreed kettle. He did? He knows that I can't raise the money to pay it off tomorrow. I don't quite understand it, Hoppy. It's the first time he's ever refused me. Did he suggest taking a mortgage on the ranch? No, he said he'd have to have the cash. <laughs> I guess I lost my temper. I told him I didn't have any money. And if he wanted the cattle, he'd have to send the sheriff after them. Where are they? Down toward the east line. All right, don't you worry about it. I'll be at the ranch first thing in the morning. I'd appreciate that, Cassidy. See you tomorrow. Well, what do you want? That's what I came to ask you. What do you want with the Clark Ranch? It's none of your business. I'm making it my business. There are a lot of people around here who like to know where you're getting the money to buy these ranches. I wouldn't lose any sleep over that if I were you. I won't. But when I want money, I go to the bank to get it. In the daytime. In the daytime, huh? Too bad your pal Johnny Travers didn't follow your example. He didn't rob that bank. Still trying to prove he was an angel with wings, huh? Not was, is. He's very much alive and able to identify the men that blew that safe. Well, why don't you get the sheriff to arrest him? And while you're about it, you should be in jail, too, as an accessory after the fact. The accessory before the fact I'm after, Burton. You were the only man in town besides Rogers that knew that payroll was in the safe. You're wasting your time, Cassidy. I spent that night at the mine. A smart lawyer like you would have an alibi, wouldn't they? I'm afraid connecting me with that robbery is going to prove a very difficult job, Mr. Cassidy. Yeah, but connecting you with Haskell won't be difficult. And he's the man that claims he saw Johnny in the bank. Haskell just swung a long time ago, if it hadn't been for you. I'm not interested in your theories. You're wasting my time. Get out. I'll get out. But first, I'll get a full confession from you. Even if I had to wring your neck to get it. I wouldn't try it if I were you. You came just in time, Haskell. You saw this man about to attack me? I sure did. You heard his threats? Yeah. Well, don't forget them. Listen, Hawkshaw. Plain detective isn't the healthiest game in the world. I'd advise you to give it up. You're getting away with your whole skin this time. But don't cross my path again. That might prove to be good advice for yourself. What did he mean? Just that he'll be ready for us when we go after him. When we go after him? We'll never have a better chance than we had right now. We couldn't take the risk here. 
But Cassidy's got to be stopped. What does he know? Plenty. That Johnny Travers is alive and was never in the bank. And he knows that you were. But you got the money, I didn't. You promised to protect me. Take it easy. I can handle Travers and the jury. But Cassidy's dynamite. Yeah? Well, I can take care of him, and I'm starting right now. Wait. You'd better get Joe. And after you've attended to Cassidy, get those pedigree cattle of clocks over into Lost Canyon. We've already got them on the move. All right. Get them off the clock ranch by noon tomorrow. Now travel. Right. over a barrel. What's happened? He's rustling the cattle that you hold the mortgage on. He knows he can't get away with that. That still doesn't stop him from trying. Now, I'm not saying he wants to steal the cattle. He'll just hide them to keep you from foreclosing on them. Well, he was pretty angry when I refused to renew his note. I could send him to the penitentiary for this. Sure you can, but you won't. You want to buy his ranch, don't you? Well, now he can't refuse. Say, we have got him over a barrel. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I can't figure out is why we couldn't find any trace of him, not even his hat. It's a tough break for Cassidy. He was a kid's best friend. That's why I'm going to let him notify the relatives of Penny. Don't you think you better get the boys and start rounding up the herd? I just waiting for Laura to get back with Topper. <laughs> that girl tries out every new horse that comes on the place. <laughs> Johnny, we thought you were dead. I'll explain about that later. Right now, banded wrestlers are driving your cattle off down the east line. California says it's a pedigree stock. Where is California? He's up on the ledge, keeping a lookout. We'll stop him. Wait a minute. Where did you come from? It's all right, Sheriff. We need your help. My cattle are being ruffled. I'll get to that later. Right now, I'd like to hear some explaining. Get down. Why were you two hiding the boy? Why didn't you report that he was alive? Well, Sheriff, uh, there are probably a lot of things about this case you don't understand. I understand what I see. In the eyes of the law, you two are just about as guilty as Johnny. I reckon we'd better take the three of you to the lockup. Well, what about them rustlers? That'd be a good trick if it'd work. Only this time, I'm not going to let you get away. All right, let's go. Well, Sheriff, now, wait a minute. I, I think I can explain this so you'll understand. That's Cassidy. I'd know that white horse of his any place. there pretty soon. Pretty long shot, ain't it? Yeah, but not close enough for him to use a six gun. You don't take any chances, do you? Not with him, I don't. Well, if you don't get him... Huh? Never mind. I ain't gonna miss. I don't know what's behind it. Burton's been asking me about my piece of land near the river. He has? Yeah. There's a lot in your story that makes sense, but I can't take any chances. Oh, I can appreciate that, Sheriff, but if I can prove that Johnny wasn't in the bank at the time of that explosion, will you let us go? Might help. Good. Now, look. Well, wow. must be getting fat. Guess I better loosen my cinch. Now, look here. 
Here's the street. Here's the bank here. Here's the grocery. Now, right after the explosion, Haskell pointed at Johnny, who was here. And after accusing him of the robbery, he started shooting. That's right. And the rest of us joined in when the kid started to run for his horse. Yeah, but Johnny was across the street here in front of the grocery store, walking toward the bank. There's no one to prove that. No, that's the unfortunate part of it. But, Sheriff, Johnny was here in front of the grocery store. How could he possibly have gone across the street into the bank and robbed it and been back across here in front of the store in less than a half a minute? It isn't possible. It doesn't seem so. But that still doesn't prove anything. No, I'm sorry, Cash. Oh, my Sheriff. Get him up. Drop your gun belts. Keep it covered, Henry. Come on. Badly hurt oh, I don't think so. Let's see here. Oh, that's a bad one. Oh, I'll be all right. But why should anybody be shooting at me? Well, they probably thought it was me. You? Yes, I shouldn't have let you ride that white horse. Oh, well, but why? I'll explain that later. You better get her home, Mr. Clark. Yes. Oh, I can make it all right. No, no, I'll go with you. Come on. I'm sorry I can't go, too. Well, that's all right. Well, so long, Hoppy. Right. Oh, say, that sheriff's still at the ranch. I won't be too happy to see him again. Ah, uh, but he'll be mighty happy to see you, though. <laughs> <laughs> and bring him back with you. We might need him. Right. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Come on, Hammond. I'm glad you got here, Hoppy. Where'd they drive the cattle? Down into Lost Canyon. I sent Johnny out to the other boys. You and Henry wait here for him. I'm going on. We'll get there as soon as we can.
As soon as you hide these cattle, bring the boys back to the cabin. It'll take a magician to find those cattle. Are you sure you can get away with it? I haven't made a mistake yet, have I? No, I guess you haven't, but it'd be pretty bad for me if you ever did. You know, rustling cattle and holding up banks is pretty serious. Not as serious as murder. I got you out of that, didn't I? You never forget that, do you? It wouldn't be healthy for you to forget it. Now listen. No matter what happens, just stick to your story. Clark told you to drive the cattle off and hide them. That's all you know. Well, I guess you know what you're doing. It's going to be awful hard to convince anybody that Clark rustled his own cattle. Certainly will. Don't move. Detective could figure this one out. You forget, Cassidy. I'm Tom Clark's attorney. He'll take my word against yours. Besides, I've got Haskell for cooperation. You won't even be there, Burton. To be my word against Haskell's. Sit down. He won't bother you anymore, will he, Haskell? What are you talking about? Why, that job you sent us out to do. We spotted him coming on that white horse a mile away. Haskell knocked him over at fire Shut up! Well, I've heard enough. Get over there. I didn't have anything to do with this. Too bad your boys bungled the job, Burton. Now you are in a tight spot. Looks like you could use a good attorney. That looks like the clock outfit.
time Hoppy was ever missing when things got hot. I wonder where he is. I don't know, but I sure wish he was here. Oh, 
Well, let me have your gun, Jim. I'll see if there's anybody left in here. Drop your guns. Get on your feet. Have you seen Harpy? He's inside. Inside? Jumping, Jupiter, you and your ideas. Hey, we busted things up a little, huh? Yeah, and you'd have saved us a lot of trouble if you'd busted them up a little bit more. Come on, get out of here. Sheriff, they're all yours. Thanks, Hoppy. Well, we've got enough on that gang to keep them in the pen the rest of their lives. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Haskell admitted he planted my knife in the bank. You were certainly in a tough spot, Johnny. And so were you, Hoppy. Oh, it wasn't so bad. But if you ever find yourself in the same fix, just send for California and Johnny and give him a big pile of rocks. You <laughs> betcha. <laughs> or let him make some more biscuits. <laughs> <laughs>